Hello, Blue Monday fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. We left off in the last episode with everything configured in GCAPE from our target files to our module files. The only thing I've added is I wanted to process volume shadow copies too. Why not? Let's invite everybody to the party. I am now going to hit execute. Once I hit execute, it's going to warn me one last time about the flush command and then a terminal is going to open. You can see it's grabbing the volume shadow copies it found too in this case. We can see at the top a percentage of how fast everything is happening, file deferrals, things that it's looking at. So right now it is looking in the volume shadow copies for syscache hive log files, the transaction logs that we talked about. It didn't find them, so it's skipping them. So you can see how it's processing file by file the kinds of things that we asked it to get. You can see it just grabbed the master file table. Now remember, when we went and told those target files, go into the computer, grab me artifact A. In this case specifically right now, it said go and get me the master file table. So it's going and getting the master file table and it's moving it into a folder that we created called tdest. And then later, we're going to run a module against it. Well, and in this case on the screen, that's actually what's happening right now is the, the executable master file table explorer CMD is running against the MFT to pull it out, push it out to a CSV and parse it so that it's out in a useful way for us so that we can look at it in various tools like Timeline Explorer or something like that. Now, one thing that I want to point out to you, in case you haven't uh, realized it yet, when we set up GCAPE, you saw that I pointed it at C Drive. I am collecting from a live system, from my system. This is not a mounted evidence file. Why is that important? Well, it's important just from the perspective of time and also perspective of capability of the tool. It is able to go grab a locked file that is in use and pull it out anyway and do stuff with it. This is the power of CAPE. You can see that it's gone through all of the MFT style functions. It's running AMCache parser now, so it's running another tool we asked it to run. Now it's running Prefetch Explorer. It's done running Prefetch Explorer and our entire examination start to finish 128 seconds. In other words, just over two minutes to pull out all of the files that we outlined in this case and run the modules against them to push out our forensic goodness. I can't wait until the next episode where we get to go look in TDEST and MDEST to see exactly what our output looks like. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.